Hello guys, so today I'd like to talk about minoxidil and beard growth for trans guys. So first I'd like to kind of rewind back to December last year when I was just seven months on tea and I hadn't really experienced any facial hair gains at all. So for some context, here's my face pre-tea and here's my face kind of seven, eight months on tea. Now obviously it's not uncommon to not have any kind of facial hair at seven months on tea, but I've always really wanted a beard. I wanted to know if I could grow a beard, so I wanted to accelerate the process. So as you do, I did some research on the internet and I found this guy putting this stuff on his face called minoxidil. And I was shocked because it was working. So I was thinking to myself, what is minoxidil? On a very basic level, minoxidil is a hair regrowth treatment, typically used on the scalp for hair loss. But like I said in the video I saw, this guy was putting it on his face to grow hair and it was working. And seeing that, I was obsessed. I was 100% certain that I wanted to try this stuff out. But don't worry, I'm not stupid. I wanted to know what the side effects. So on the bottle, it warns of potential chest pain, increased blood pressure, faintness, dizziness, weight gain, swelling, acne, dry skin, finally, irritation or redness. Now in my eyes nothing comes without risk and I was prepared to take the risk so I bought some. From what I could find online it either comes in liquid or foam form and in various strengths. You can get 3% minoxidil or 5% minoxidil. I'm not sure if you can get more or less but that's what I found. I opted for the 5% brand called Kirkland. Disclaimer, not sponsored. So to use it I apply it twice a day by dripping it with a pipette directly onto my skin then rubbing it in small circles all where I want my facial hair to grow. Not gonna lie it has a faint smell of glue and tastes like shit so try not to eat it. Right so I use this stuff without fail twice a day for the whole month of December and I only stopped because I was having surgery at the start of January and I wanted to keep my body kind of clean it's quite funny actually because during that month I was always clean shaven but then after stopping minoxidil and having surgery I couldn't really shave my face very easily so I just kind of let it all go and I was just completely blown away so this is a picture seven months on tea this is a picture just one month after. I had gained the faint outline of a beard in one month. That is amazing. Although I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to tell how much of that was minoxidil and how much of that was testosterone, but there was no way I was gonna have that much improvement without minoxidil. So for the next three months, I used it on and off. I could probably count on both hands the amount of times I've used it since top surgery to now. But with that being said, I wanted to show you what we're kind of looking like now. Bear in mind that I do have to kind of trim it back for work, so. Yeah. So as you can see, I've got quite a little bit on my sides. This is my right side. This is my little puby moustache thing. But the really impressive part is my neck beard. Check this out. This is just really, really cool. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. It comes like all the way up here as well. It's really thick and itchy down here. The one thing with minoxidil that is kind of rubbish is the fact that if you stop using it before the hair matures, it will get thinner and thinner and thinner. So your changes will kind of reverse. If you're gonna start using minoxidil, I definitely recommend looking into the various stages of hair growth because then you can kind of get a better understanding of where you're at. And it was really good for me to manage my expectations to kind of look at how hair grows. So yeah, that was like my little secret to growing facial hair. And I would 100% recommend it. Just be careful, watch your blood pressure because Minox and tea both have the same kind of similar side effect. But lots of trans people use it, I use it and it works, so give it a go. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I'm really excited to share this Minox journey with you. The quest to Alex's beard continues. If you have any video suggestions or topics you'd like me to speak about, please leave them in the comments below and I will see you next week. By the way, if you want the shirt I'm wearing, you can get it from an online store called 0.5cc. They do loads of really awesome clothes over there and it's a trans brand. I think it's really important to support trans businesses and what's even better is that a portion of the proceeds from these clothes go to trans people to help their surgeries. So. It's all for a good cause. Links in the description. Go over there, buy some clothes. You can use the code ALEX5 for 5% off. My favourite product is a hoodie they've got over there with like 0.5cc and it's all blacked out. It's really cool. Okay, that's all I've got to say. Bye guys, I love you.